When I first heard about Pordenone, I thought, this is very worthwhile. I must go one of these days. And I was always prevented. But people came back raving. And I thought, oh, I'll have to do it. And so I began becoming a regular. And the standard experience was this. The program would arrive. I would look at the program. And I'd said, well, I haven't heard of that, I haven't heard of that, I haven't heard of that, I won't bother to go. But then when I did go, I realized these were all discoveries. I didn't know about them because I was too ignorant. <laughs> and it was so exciting to find so much that was brand new. And on one occasion, I was sitting next to an old man and I got chatting to him. He turned out, he only turned out to have been Prudovkin's assistant director. He said he was, and this will tell you how valuable Pordenone is from the historical, historian's point of view. He said that he was mad about the cinema as a small boy and he found Prudovkin's book and translated it into German. He then heard that Prudovkin was coming to Germany to make a film, a silent film, and he met him at the railway station, presented him with his book translated into German. Prudovkin was so impressed, he hired him as assistant director, and he was still very young. And that began his, his career in, in the cinema. And he told fa fascinating stories about Russia, where he came from, as an, and then as an emigre in Germany. Um, but then you could, you could meet historians you'd never possibly meet under normal circumstances. Um, and you'd learn things about films that people had seen and nobody else had seen. Um, it, it's, it has been absolutely invaluable and I wouldn't miss it for the world, although I have had to. And missing it has been really damaging to my career. So Pordenone is crucial. You will see here films you will see nowhere else. They will be projected in as good a form as it's possible to get. Uh, and it encourages other archives and other organizations to do likewise. It shows the films as they should be shown. And I'm sure that the expansion of appreciation of silent films is largely due to Paul Moni. Paramount Pictures made something like uh, 1,400 silent films and they preserved 37. 73% of the silent era has been destroyed. Cinema takes like an archives like this are absolutely crucial. Can you imagine the same thing happening in the world of art? Oh, we've just lost all these Toulouse Lautrecs and all these Da Vinci's. <laughs> it's unbelievable, impossible, um, except in a time of war. <clears throat> and and Pordenone has rescued so many films. And it is one of the, the most impressive things about Italy. Okay, can I go and see the films now? Thank you very much. Very, very much.